The Toronto Raptors have been terrific this year. Having a number one seed, no one can say they truly predicted that they would have a better record than Boston or Cleveland at this point of the season. It's been remarkable. And as you mentioned, Stephen A., the, the improvement of DeMar DeRozan, he was always a 20-plus point scorer that could get to the free throw line, was a, was a mid-range maven, but now he can shoot the three-point shot, which has truly unlocked his game. You talked about Ibaka. You talked about Valanchunas. Van Vliet hit a big shot last night. The key for the Toronto Raptors, however, when they've gotten into the playoffs the last five years, it's been heckle and jekyll with Kyle Lowry, their all-star point yep. guard. That's going to be the key. Can he translate regular season performance? He's averaging seven three-pointers per game. Can he now play this way in the postseason? This is why, with a straight face, you must pick the Cleveland Cavaliers and what we're seeing from LeBron James. And LeBron James, for those who have not been paying attention, has actually gotten better at basketball. Let me tell you why. He's a better three-point shooter. He's a better free throw shooter. He's averaging a career high in assists. He's played in every game this year. And here's the kicker. LeBron James is now clutch. You remember the last couple of years when it was the first 46 minutes and then he turned it over to Kyrie Irving? Well, now the team is turning it over to LeBron James. And when he gets back Kevin Love, a guy that's going to still give you 20 and 10, to go with the young requisite parts. And I disagree with you on something, Max Kellerman. Rodney Hood is a starter in this league. Larry Nance Jr. I agree, Jalen. Yeah. Larry Nance yeah. Jr. is a starter in this league. Because when you say that, you got to also flip to the Toronto Raptors. And beyond DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry, you guys didn't name anybody else on the perimeter for that exact same reason. They have some guys that still hey, need Jaylen. some proven ground as well. Jalen, Rodney Hood and Larry Nance Jr. were not coming from good teams, and they weren't starting on those teams that weren't good. So, yes, I understand what you mean by their starting quality players kind of sort of on certain teams they can't start depending on what else is around them. But they're not strong, surefire starters. No. They are certainly rotation pieces. Max, we can all agree. Oh, oh, no. Rodney Hood has the potential to be. Larry Nance Jr. has the potential to be. Then why weren't they starting on bad teams? I'm going to pull you behind the curtain and let me tell you from somebody that played for six teams in 13 seasons. When a team knows they're about to trade you, Max, they don't give you as many minutes. They don't give you as many shots. They don't necessarily have to highlight your value because they want the fans. They want your teammates. They want everybody to see that you've been diminished. This is why they're moving you. Rodney Hood, a week before Wait. he got traded, had 30 Teams points in the basketball assets? game. He, Rodney Hood, before he got Teams traded. Teams want to deflate trade assets? Listen, when they know they have a deal, you don't have to showcase somebody you know they got a deal. Rodney Hood got traded from Utah because they didn't want to pay him. Larry Nance got traded from the Lakers not because they wanted to let him go. It's because they needed to let him go in order to make the cap space in order to put themselves in position to get two max deals. Did you sure. see Larry Nance play and recently? They also had, Did you see him just have 20 I, plus yes, and 10 I have. plus? And I, I like Nance. I like Nance a lot. I preferred him to Julius Randle. They also traded him because it was harder to move Randle than it was to move him. They also traded him because they had two forwards in Ingram and Kuzma, and they'd like to sign other guys. I understand they're extenuating circumstances, and those guys are certainly could be in rotations for any championship team. Starting jobs are they are bubble starters they're not sure fire starters rodney hood looks like he could eventually be an all-star if everything breaks the so right way I got he hasn't always played you. that way I, let's be honest about it i got it. a question for either can you name me another player on the toronto raptors on the perimeter that you have faith in not named laria DeRozan? no and that's that that is an issue for them that's an achilles heel for them and I agree with that. But the idea that LeBron is playing the best ball of his career on the offensive side, he's playing, I would say, almost as well as he's ever played. And I understand why, I understand why he feels he's on the top of his game, given his maturity, experience, all those other things. The best ball I've ever seen LeBron play is the third season, second championship in Miami was the best LeBron James. He doesn't play defense like that anymore consistently. Even in the playoffs, he's not able to turn it up on every possession defensively. So that's only one side of the floor I believe LeBron is talking about. I can't about. wait to see Stephen A. I don't Stephen know if that's a. enough to get him by Toronto. we got to see Kevin Love.